everyone. I'd like to thank you for joining us for today's webinar. Um, today we have the UDAT Lunch and Learn, and this session is going to be on medication administration support. Um, quick reminder, if you have questions, comments, anything like that, please be sure to put those in the chat and make sure that you send those to all panelists, please. That way everyone has the opportunity to see those. And with that, I am going to turn it over to Holly. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this month's Lunch and Learn for June 14th, 2022. Um, today, we are going to be talking about medication administration. So our outline for, I'm Holly Reif. I'm the Provider Relations Specialist for Assistive Technology on the DMHDD UDAT team. And our outline for today is we're going to talk a little bit about what medication administration administration systems are how to authorize them underneath our assistive technology services and we have some of our dmhdd contracted providers with us today and they are going to share with us a little bit about how their different medication administration systems work so you guys can have a better idea of what might be the most helpful for individuals use support so what are medication administration systems? Well, everyone struggles to remember to take their medications, and at times, it's good to have a system to remind people to do it. Um, consistency is key when it comes to medication, and some of our medication administration systems can nearly eliminate some of those human errors that we see when it comes to taking medication, like forgot to give or gave the wrong dose. So medication administration systems are very important. They also help individuals to be more independent, have a better uh, empowerment to learn about what medications they're taking and have control over that section of their daily life. There's a variety of technology available through a medication systems. Some are very simplistic and easy to use and others are an entire health suite that include blood pressure and diabetes support, um, and even some with direct contact directly to the pharmacies or doctors or oversight nurses. Um, a, medication administrations are available to support all individuals um, in all stages of their life. So whether it's you know a teenager who doesn't want mom and dad to tell them to take their medication all the time, or whether it's um, a person who's matured through life and is now a little forgetful and sometimes can't remember to take their medication. Assistive technology is a waiver service available for, through all of all four of our 1915C home and community-based waivers. The um, administration medication systems fall under assistive technology services under the waiver definition. And the code for that is A9999UC. And please remember that that UC is very important. Um, I like to tell people, make sure that your assistive technology code is dressed. So by being dressed, I mean, make sure it's got the right modifier on it. So however that works for you, if you see is you, in your mind a little black dress or your favorite uh, fluffy sweater, just make sure you've got that modifier dressed with our assistive technology codes. Um, assistive technologies are specific to the individual and will need to be justified in the ISP. Um, and this would be seen as a request for new services through the utilization review process. So what's included in this code is the equipment or device support and education. And I think I've got my PowerPoints and any monthly service um, dashboards that might be needed. So that is a little brief conversation about what our medication administration systems are, but I wanted to run that through that really fast because I wanted to give our providers lots of time to talk with you today. And of course, if anyone has any questions about how to get support with writing outcomes or how to support um, the ISP process, they can always reach out to the UDAT team or in August, our technology explorers. So who do we have as our providers today? The division currently actually has a five assistive technology providers who have a dedicated administration, medication administration system, um, and three of them are joining us today. Gray Matters Alliance, Jim, back for you, Spencer, 
with Shannon and Hero Technologies LLC, Vicki. And this next slide is really just a, a blank slide because I wanted to um, just allow them to talk. So which, who would like, well, I don't know that the, oh, the blank slide didn't, didn't show up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this layout. Um, okay, who would like to tell us about their system first? All right, Vicki. Oh, I think you still might be on mute. Am I? There you are. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. Hey guys, how are you? Um, so yeah, Gray Matters Alliance, obviously some of you know us and good stuff. We do all sorts of things. Um, today we're gonna talk about the hero, not to be confused with hero technologies, different spelling. Sorry about that, Jim. <laughs> it was like a little confusing there for a minute. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see the dispenser itself. It's right here. Um, it's pretty cool. I will say it's it's a if I had a con to it, I'll just start with a con. It's a little heavy, so it's not really good for travel, although you can travel with it. There is a special key that goes in the back that kind of protects the pills that are in there. Um, so so that's good if you do want to travel. I don't recommend it. Um, so this dispenser will hold up to 90 days worth of pills, so three months worth, up to 10 different types of pills. Um, it pretty much probably does a lot of what the others do, so there might be some overlap over here, but it does come with an app, and the app is very um, detailed if you want it to be. It will, obviously you can put the, the, the dosage, the type, is it a tablet, is it a capsule, is it a soft gel? Um, the duration, you know, how often do you take it during your day? Do you take it every day? Do you take it every other day, every other week, what have you? So it's very detailed on, on the dosing. Um, it is password protected. It will count the pills if there's like a narcotic situation going on. Um, you know, we, we do come across that with, especially with like group homes where there's other people involved or within the environment that you kind of need to protect the other people from getting into it. It does have a key in case you can't get into it for whatever reason that needs to be, you know, placed somewhere else other than the dispenser. Um, oh boy, I mean, pretty much Holly, you covered it. Obviously it helps with independence. It helps with compliancy. Um, a lot of the feedback we get is it's fun to use. So I think some of our um, people like to just play with the button and they get the notification. This one's gonna come up at 1215. Probably I'll, I'll be done by then, but it can say dispense or skip. It gives you a, a allocated amount of time. Um, there is a element within the subscription that you have access to a telepharmacist. That telepharmacist can answer questions. They can tell you if you're duplicating anything, um, just give you some advice. Um, and then you also, there is a way to um, have uh, prescriptions delivered right to your door. So, and again, that telepharmacist is there to help you. There are, um, you know, partners uh, that they, the hero themselves can hook you up with depending on where your location is. Um, so really other than that, I don't really know what else to tell you. It's a pretty nifty device. It does work with one of our systems. We have um, two remote devices, remote support monitoring devices, and it does work with one of them since it's app-based. The app can just go on there and it can work, you know, simultaneously together. So we've been very happy with it. Um, so if you guys have any questions, just, just give us a yell. Thank you, Vicki. And yes, I am sorry about the, the confusion. I saw Hero and thought Hero and then- No worries. <laughs> we I, appreciate, I appreciate you getting, getting us back straightened out. Yeah, um, no worries. Who would like to Thanks go now? having us, Holly. Yeah, I'm excited you guys were able to join today. I can go. Can you hear me all right? Yes, thank you. All right, thanks, Holly, for the invite. My name is Shannon Shores, and I'm with Pack for You. I joined Pack for You in October of last year, and I've had a lot of fun. Uh, I get to work with Holly and really bring this great technology to the state of Missouri. So, what I represent today is my little friend Spencer, which I'll show you in just a second. But one of the things, you know, 13 years ago, um, I worked at Touchpoint Autism Services. And I can tell you 13 years ago, the number one medication error was failure to administer, failure to give, right? 
and now coming back 13 later, it's still the same. And so what can we do differently? Um, because it's not just a, just a negligence and not wanting to, but there's so many things that go into medication administration. And just think about our own technology. We have reminders on our phones for appointments and things like that. Why not use technology for medication? Um, one of the things that you know I remember, and I still can see when I go to places, is how medication comes. First, you might have you know the nurse or whoever the point person is, or you know if it's coming to an individual, sorting all the different medications and getting it right. This is this is sorted through technology. So Spencer gets this right 99.98% of the time. Um, he only gets it wrong about 0.02% of the time. And when he does that, he might crush a pill, which you'll see what that means here in just a second, why that might happen. Because Spencer can um, hold all oral medications, you know, medications, vitamins, supplements, and some vi sometimes vitamins can get rather large and he could crush it. But when it comes to right person, right medication, not making those ear errors, Spencer is the guy for you. A couple things here. <laughs> Excuse me. This box will come to you, um, let's say, you know, twice a month or monthly or whatever um, your kind of a workflow or your process is. You'd work with, with, work with one of our Spencer certified pharmacists to get your medication. So you'd open the box, it'd be ready to go. It has QR codes. So if you have more than one person Spencering um, in a place, you can't mix up these boxes because this will only work with the certain Spencer it's assigned to. So it's the name, has the date, has the QR code. And really, I'm going to flip this around here real quick. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so you can see Spencer here. Um, Spencer about the size of a toaster. I say he's about the size of a family size toaster. Um, like the hero, you can take him with you. It looks kind of odd uh, if you would, traveling with the Spencer, but you could. But there's other apps and things like that, meds on the go, to make that transportation easier. So you can see that uh, putting your medications in versus filling pill boxes or things like that that could create errors. You would just drop Spencer in, drop it, and he's ready to go. So he, he, as Holly was talking about kind of the bells and whistles of kind of having um, all encompassing kind of a health team. That's what Spencer does. He lives in the cloud with the pharmacy, the doctor, the provider, the guardian, whoever you define as your connected healthcare team. And so that health, that connected healthcare team gets real time information to make real time medical decisions, which is pretty darn cool in my book. So what happens here is Spencer gets his orders from the cloud. Um, the pharmacy will put those orders in that goes with the medications. When it's time for him to dispense, he will give an alert. He'll make a little chime. Um, after that, if you ignore him, he's a very persistent little dude. He'll come on and tell you that it's time to take your medication. He'll get louder and louder and louder until you take it. If for some reason you miss it at the end of that allocated time, <coughs> excuse me, um, that non-adherence or you take it, that adherence goes into the cloud. So everyone knows in real time that you have taken your medication. It also has Bluetooth capabilities. So if someone has needs blood pressure, vitals, glucometer, uh, thermometer, we can make orders to connect with that as well. So you're not having to enter that into a MAR and maybe forgetting or fast fingering it and getting the wrong information in there. Spencer will put those orders in, those Bluetooth devices will connect and it goes into the cloud. So again, anyone that connected care team could see what's going on in real time. And the other thing that does, uh, it also has uh, telehealth. So it has um, a video screen right here. So we know with COVID, telehealth was something that came in because we saw a lot of compliance with appointments. And we know, especially with people with developmental disabilities, going to a doctor's appointment can be rather traumatizing, especially folks with sensory issues, right? Sound, smell, people, things like that that a kind of more of a more contained environment can be at home. Spencer can do that through the system here um, using the telehealth function. Um, and he and th that doctor also can log in and see that information during that appointment to see real time information. So as I wrap up here so I can give Hero Technologies uh, their time as well, just real quick. It's the blue button to dispense the next it's spent it by touching, it's going to come out. And you know, when you go to the uh, pharmacy and you get that big pack of information that probably no one reads, any information that's important out of there will come on the screen, like take it with food or milk, or if there's any other 
And also too, it's gonna ask you if you're having any problems with medication. That's important because our pharmacist, we have a call center or pharmacist that watches this to make sure that you are taking your medication. If there's any problems, we're following up. Because we know when we start to take medication and you start to feel a little crummy about it, it doesn't make you feel good, you're gonna quit taking it. So we're gonna ensure that this is working, the medication is working well. You also can do um, a depression screening in there or pain management. Last thing I want to show you here, I know I keep saying last thing, sorry, Hero Technologies, I swear this really is the last one. Um, there's two QR codes here. You know, here we go, we have we have the name, we have the list of medications. This is just a Tic Tac, it's a pillow pack, you can see through. Um, but there's two QR codes in here. So one, this relates to the medication and the medication dispenser, so you can't mix it up. And the second one here um, is also, it goes with the order of the medication. So we know sometimes medication grows legs and walks away, and then we're trying to figure out where did it go? Well, if someone takes medication out of here, when Spencer goes to dispense and he realizes it's out of order, he will let everyone know in the connected cloud that he's been tampered with. So he brings everyone together with that real time information. That's Spencer and I'm Shannon. Thank you, Shannon. Um, I always learn something new when I talk to all of you about medication administration and I really appreciate your time today. Jim, I think you're up next. Okay, first of all, I appreciate everybody mentioning our company numerous times. <laughs> they say it's always better when someone else talks about you than yourself, so that's, that's good. Uh, I prepared a little bit of a PowerPoint because I wanted to talk about some concepts. Can I have control to share that? If not, I can speak from it, but. Let me see if I can be that savvy. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Yep, you got it. Okay, so hopefully that appears right. Um, so I can still see our PowerPoint. Oh, there it goes. Perfect. So I can't see your view. Can you see the screen? Does it say hero? It does. Okay, perfect. Um, first of all, I appreciate everybody's comments on prescriptions anyway, because in my personal experience, it is a tough nut to crack in terms of trying to come uh, with a solution that works for everybody. And certainly familiar with the solutions we've already uh, talked about and, and appreciate that, uh, what they've done as well. So, one of our goals at Hero, we we have this every time we're iterating on a product, we have what we call the we believe statements, and things that we try and anchor ourselves back to. Um, in this case, when it comes to prescriptions, we really rely on these two or diet, work on these two, and that is each person deserves an individualized solution. The same thing does not work for everybody. It depends on where they're starting at and where they hope to finish at and everything in between. And one as a technology company uh, that's even in our name, um, we believe that smart technology can assist in increasing independence for anyone. So our goal is we don't want to shoehorn an individual into a fixed solution. So we try and, and build that variability into it. Um, what you're looking at now, this is part of our remote support system, but it's also recently been approved as a standalone assistive technology device. Uh, this is what the Hero home screen would look like. And as we go through it, you know, we provide look ahead because instead of just waiting if, over to the left, where you can see what's coming up so you can plan your day without just relying on responding to notifications. So with the reminder notifications, we have certain things that work in conjunction with it, and that is a notification lamp to call attention to the reminder. We have voice notifications that speak to say uh, what the reminder is about. And then we use images and video. Uh, these are two functions that we just recently added. And to give you an example of what that looks like when the reminders go, uh, to the center is a standard image if someone doesn't need the guidance to show what the, what the medication may look like. Um, then we also have images. You could use a picture of the bottle. You could use a picture of the pill. 
you could use whatever it is that you wanted to. And then finally, over on the right hand side of that is related to. The a video that you can share any video that you can link to that would then share, like, in this case, how to use an insulin pen. Uh, so. The other thing that we have, because of our. Uh, remote support platform and the fact that we have voice and video that is integrated into it fully and also with. Um, the, just as an AT device, we have the option and this is something that a lot of people are using and that is voice and video confirmation. We actually have 1 provider. Uh, they have an individual who. They take a Tylenol pill the provider does with the individual on the other side of the screen to get that confirmation. As well, and to also kind of build that. Uh, uh, relationship between uh, the, the remote support professional as well as the individual being served. And one of the things too, that we believe in portability and we don't have a, a big cabinet to lug around at this point, but we don't believe life happens in a cocoon. And so one of the things anybody using either one of just our assistive technology tablet or the full remote support system, the individual automatically, if they have a smart phone, can take that uh, information with them. So they'll get notifications on the go as well. For the providers, and you know, one of the things on the first slide I referenced an enterprise solution provider and a lot of companies, uh, I met with a group out of the Northeast uh, this last week, and they're just really struggling because they're using all these canned solutions that show a variety of, you know, where they have, multi if they have 25 clients using one particular device, they've got to manage 25 logins and everything else. And so we take that approach as far as trying to condense all of that down to one login and, and through our platform. So for the staff, uh, one of the things that we do is we've got confirmation. So an individual that is using the medication reminders as they take the medication and confirm it, they have the, the confirmation that's been taken that they, they are indicating that they've taken it. Uh, they also then, if they're using the full remote support platform, they have the other indications that are with it uh, in terms of whether or not the medication um, has been accessed even uh, because our remote support platform includes that. Uh, includes record keeping. So anytime uh, if, if they're missed or whether they're taken, all that goes into the hero record system where they're able to keep track and it gives a uh, Quantitative view on how someone is doing. Are they getting their medications more? Um, are they taking them themselves more? Have they missed medication, etc.? And then escalation, and this is a concept we actually have applied for a patent on. But this goes back to either on the remote support side or on the assistive technology side. You know, if if our goal, the ultimate goal, if someone is able to take medication themselves. And what we've seen is individuals a lot of times, like they, morning meds might happen at eight o'clock. And so if you have 16 people that you're responsible for, that means 16 notifications to the staff that they have medication that needs to be taken unless it's being addressed in some other way. And so one of the things we do, because we know that if a medication is missed, it can create significant issues uh, for the individual, and they may have to get nurses or doctors involved. So what we do is if the medication has not been acknowledged within a certain amount of time before that med window closes, we escalate the notification to whoever it is, whether it's uh, remote support staff or whether it is a family member that might be providing support just on that medication so they know, so they can reach out and try and engage with the individual to, to get the medication taken appropriately. Um, one of the big things with our team is we develop all of our own software, so we don't rely on other people's solutions. And uh, one of the things we're always open to, just like um, the two device, Spencer and Hero, uh, you know, one of our goals is to meet the providers and the individuals with where they're at. And so we're always exploring integrations with those individual devices. Uh, so then we can condense that even further as far as to meet the needs of the individual. But um, as I said at the beginning, medication is a tough one. And I, from my mother's perspective, um, you know, there were times where I would have sworn she had taken a pill, but she had spit it out in the trash can. 
and she could she could pill better than anybody. So getting to a hundred percent assurity is near impossible in my mind. And so the goal is to again look at where the individual's at and then try and meet them uh, where they're at and where they're headed. So that's all I've got. Wonderful. Thank you, Jim. I there's one question and I wanted to answer it in the chat box, but um do any of the devices that we talked about today work without an app, a smartphone, or a tablet? And I wanted to say yes, but then I was like, hmm, maybe I better double check that. Shannon's nodding yes. Um, it's not us. <laughs> right now, that's a key part of it, but I'll okay. let the others respond for their product. Well, Spencer, uh, Spencer has its own um, Wi Fi backbone, so you don't even need Wi Fi. Add to, uh, to use it, it will connect on its own through its cellular chip. And it also has a four hour battery backup, um, so it can run on its own after four hours. The top will pop, so you would never be without your medication. Um, just the added things of meds on the go and things like that. Um, uh, you could use you could use apps and things, but it doesn't need apps um, to run. Okay, great. And then, uh, what about PRN medications? How would those work with um, these medication administration systems? I I can start with mine since I'm still unmuted. Um, mm -hmm. For us, is that because you know Spencer is prepackaged through the pharmacy with those orders, uh, the PRNs would be would be uh, packaged separately but through the same pharmacy, and Spencer would put um, those reminders in there. So let's say, for example, you know, you go to that screening and you're having problems with, I don't know, constipation. Maybe one of those screenings in there and to remind you take Miralax, right? It could it could signal signal that. So you might get you'll get the notifications through Spencer about those PRNs, but they would have to be dispensed separately um, because Spencer doesn't have like a separate container for that. That's just your regular medications that are stored in Spencer. Um, with with ours. Um... You can same thing. You could you can load up your medications that are not in the actual device. Um, you can there's a you can denote whether you want your pill to reside in the machine or outside the machine, so you can still get reminders for other things like an insulin shot or something like that. Our remote support systems we have two of them. Um, you are able to go ahead and load in PRNs as needed. And and you can do it to a point where you can say like every four hours you have a reminder go off and say do you need to take your Tylenol or do you need to take your pain medications um, and again all those compliance reports and all that pertain to the PRNs as well and and going back to the other question about no Wi-Fi um, both of our systems could work off a of cell enabled so if Wi-Fi is an issue and you need something cellular it will work. This is a and, and Vicky, does your system work without the use of an app or a smartphone? So the if the Hero, individual doesn't have a smartphone? Yeah, no, the Hero is app driven. That's how you okay. get it. Um, I'm assuming you have to have the app to do it. Okay. Um, in order to, to get those reminders. Now, for, when it comes to our system, yeah, it's either cellular or Wi-Fi enabled to get those Great. reminders. Yeah. Perfect. And those those apps, um, if they are needed are part of our assistive technology service code. So um, if they don't have the app, we that was another question. Can we can we buy the app? We, absolutely. We can purchase that app for folks through our assistive technology waiver. Um, we've got just one more minute left and I've got one more slide of our upcoming dates for everyone to be thinking about. Our next UDAT Lunch and Learn is going to be July 2nd, 20, July 2nd, July 12th. Goodness, July 2nd is too, way too fast. Uh, July 12th, and we will be talking about remote supports at that one. Um, and then if you would like more information about technology or about DD services in general, the other two Lunch and Learns or series that I highly recommend are Mo DDD and You, uh, which is a great way to learn about self-advocacy and other DMH DD services. And then of course, our No Wrong Door series, um, which talks about how technology high to low can work in everyday life. Um, so Christy, we'll have to get back um, with you because we are out of time for today, but we will certainly um, have a, a frequently asked questions that goes that is posted with this. Um, 
recording and we will talk with you about medication changes and dose changes or discontinuations in that frequently asked question. Thank you guys so much today for joining me. Thank you, our support providers for being here today and I'll see you all next month. Thanks, Holly.